Aporita, Greater Mysteries of Isis, or the Doctrine of the Unity. Now follows, pages 304 to 305 from Book 2, Section 4, from The Divine Legation of Moses Demonstrated, by William Warburton. Note, Latin paragraphs have been replaced using Thomas Taylor's English translation of Metamorphoses. He begins with making the priest take occasion, from the benefit already received, to press Lucius to enter into the greater mysteries of Isis. Nevertheless, that you may be more safe and better protected, become one of this holy order, which you will hereafter rejoice that you embraced, and now dedicate yourself to the service of our religion, and voluntarily subject yourself to the yoke of this ministry, the excellent priest having thus prophesied, and breathing with difficulty, was silent. But at the same time makes him inform the candidate, that nothing was to be precipitated, for that not only previous rites and ceremonies, concerning religious diet, and abstinence from profane food, were to be observed, but that the aspirants to these higher mysteries were to wait for a call. Since we ought by all means to avoid eagerness and obstinacy, as faults, and neither be dilatory when called, nor precipitate when not called. He added, that there was not any one of their number who was so lost to a sense of propriety, or rather so destined to death, as to rashly and sacrilegiously dare to engage in the service of the goddess, and thus contract a deadly guilt, unless she peculiarly ordered him to do so, for the gates of the realms beneath, and the guardianship of life, are placed in the hands of the goddess, and the delivery of her mysteries is celebrated as a thing resembling a voluntary death. Accordingly, he is initiated into the greater mysteries. The ceremony is described at large, and we find it to agree exactly with what, we have shown, other writers more professedly deliver concerning it. The author, by the doubts and apprehensions which retarded his initiation, first gives us to understand, that the highest degree of sanctity was required of these who entered into the mysteries. But I, though it was what I very much desired, was, nevertheless, restrained by religious fear. For by diligent inquiry I knew that the service of religion was difficult, that the abstinence which chastity required was sufficiently arduous, and that life, which is subject to many casualties, is to be defended by cautious circumspection. These difficulties now surmount, he is initiated with the accustomed ceremonies. He then makes his prayer, in which the grand apparatus of the mysteries is still more plainly referred to. The supernal gods reverence thee, and those in the realms beneath attentively observe thy nod. Thou rollest the sphere of the universe round the steady poles, dost illuminate the sun, govern the world, and tread on the dark realms of Tartarus. The stars move responsive to thy command, the gods rejoice in thy divinity, the hours and seasons return by thy appointment, and the elements reverence thy decree. By thy nod blasts of wind blow, the clouds are nourished, seeds germinate, and blossoms increase. Birds, swiftly passing through the tracks of the air, wild beasts wandering on the mountains, serpents concealed in the ground, and the enormous monsters that swim in the sea, are terrified at the majesty which invests thy divinity. The affair thus over, and the honor attendant on initiation into the greater mysteries being marked out in the words. I afterwards, walking, mingled with the religious crowd, accompanied the sacred pomp, being known and conspicuous to the whole city, and distinguished by the fingers and nods of the men. The author, in the next place, takes occasion, agreeably to his real practice and opinions, to recommend a multiplicity of initiations. He tells us how Isis counseled him to enter into the mysteries of Osiris, how, after that, she invited him to a third initiation, and then rewarded him for his accumulated piety with an abundance of temporal blessings. All this considered, we can no longer doubt but that the true design of his work was to recommend initiation into the mysteries, in opposition to the new religion. We see the catastrophe of the peace, the whole eleventh book, entirely taken up with it, and composed with the greatest seriousness and superstition. Whoso discovereth secrets, loseth his credit, 
and shall never find friend to his mind. This, therefore, is the reason why so little is to be met with, concerning the apparitor.